Scroll and Dagger presents Quest of Ruin. Episode 19 The Quiet Deep. Hello, and welcome to Quest of Ruin, the post apocalyptic fantasy role playing podcast. I am your host and Game Master, joined once more by my players who will be starting today in the home of Belink's parents. Wait, where... should we apologise for last week? Hmm? Why? Well, we ended kind of abruptly, didn't we? Yeah, we didn't We didn't do our usual goodbye. Wait, wait. Did we not? No, it just kind of ended. I'm sure I remember doing it. Okay, we're picking up where we left off last time. You are in your family home, your five siblings have come in and they're happy to see you. You agree to spend the night in the family home. Now, does anyone have any conversations or anything they want to do before we jump into the next day? Uh, Nah, we're good. I'm alright. I'd like to sleep in with Gaira and Fiona, if there's room. (laughs) There is. In fact, Gaira insists that you scoot the beds together so that you can all pile in together. Aw, yay. All right, so, we start tonight's session the next day. Mrs. Fangsnor made you all a fine breakfast, and afterwards, Mr. Fangsnor goes to work in the forge, and you are all free to do as you please. Your father said he will have my blades completed by this evening. Cool. So, we got time to hang out here today? Of course we do. Sounds good to me. Nice to be in a place that I can stand up in, especially in this city. So what would you like to do? Come play outside with us. Yes, yes, come play! Sure! What do you want to play? Well, with this many of us, we could have a real good game of hide and seek. I yeah, love that sounds hide great! And seek. Hide yeah, and seek, that's I love a great that! Idea. Are you sure it's wise? You know, being outside? Long as I stick to hiding, I think it'll be alright. Can I hide with you, Binksy? Of course you can! Come on! I'll be the first seeker because I'm next oldest. Then Dunn, then M, and so on. Counting to fifty... Now! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Are you nearly finished with this? Fiona's seeking. She still hasn't found us. Yes, I am aware, but it's been more than an hour. Do you not think it's time to call an end to it? Nah, our games sometimes last hours and hours. Here you are. Uh, all of your siblings have gone back to the house. What, Fiona gave up? Well, no. They got tired of waiting. Hmm, what happened to them? Well, I suppose Fiona is still a bit young. Has she gone back too? What? Uh, no, we... We assumed she was out here with you. No, haven't seen her. Well, perhaps she's on her way back now. Yeah. Oh, she's not going to be happy. I am sure she cannot take losing a game that hard. Yeah, I suppose you're right. It's just, she's always taking stuff like this a bit... seriously. I'm sure it will be fine. I hope so. She's not here! Where can she have got to? Oh, goodness, oh, goodness! I can't find any trace of her. Oh, no. Oh, no. What if... You don't think she... What? Is there something going on here? There have been disappearances. A few people have gone missing lately. How long has this been happening? (laughs) A few weeks now, I think. We will find her. Oh, oh, no, I couldn't ask you all to risk your... We're doing this. I... Please be careful, Binky. Promise. What can you tell us about these disappearances? Anything in common. Did they vanish from the same places? No, I... uh, I don't know. I I, I don't think so. It's all right. Leave it with us. We will get to the bottom of this. Thank you. So, I'm curious... What exactly do you think you're going to be able to do if you're hiding under Aeolin's cloak? I can tell you where to go and where to look, can't I? And don't talk to me. My friend, I know you wish to keep a low profile, but... Well... You're being ridiculous. Agreed. Won't seem so ridiculous when you're all slung in jail with me. They wouldn't dare. What? You think the governor's going to be scared of you lot? 
He's got a whole army of guards. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, goblins. Watch it. All right, fine. So where are we going? Ah, uh, yeah, just up there. That's where the poster wall is. And do you think we'll find a clue there? Of course. My folks says there's been a few people going missing. The posters show who's missing or wanted by law. We can use them to see if there's any kind of link. But wouldn't the local law enforcement already be making those kind of connections? Local law enforcement? Well, yes. Like justiciars or magistrates or... Those guards you keep hiding from? Hmm. Oh, the guards don't investigate. If they see someone breaking the law, like causing a disturbance, or they see someone wanted for crimes, then they'll, like, grab them. But, nah, they don't, like, ask anyone anything. But how does that work? It doesn't, really. Here, look. My link was... Oh, sorry. He was right. Look, there are many posters for missing people here, and they all seem to have gone missing in the last few weeks. Is there any connection between them? Not that I can see. All different ages. All from different areas of the city. Hmm. What do you think, Blink? Let's see. No. I mean, I don't know all these folks, but I don't know. As far as I can tell, there's nothing similar between them. It's not like they're all poor folks that no one would miss. That one there, Dullinuk, he's the son of the Curator of Inventions. Wait, the son of a high-ranking official goes missing, and no one is looking for him? I mean, if someone fell over him, I'm sure they'd tell someone. This place is ridiculous. So what does this tell us? It tells us that the people who are going missing are completely random. Which doesn't exactly help us. Not so much, no. What is our next move? I don't really know. Without some sort of connection, we don't have anything to go on. If you're looking <gasps> for a connection, you ain't looking hard enough. Where did you come from? Oh, I've been following you for some time. That's impossible. I would have noticed. Maybe you're not as good a tracker as you think, she Fei. You... Or maybe I just have a strong sense of self-preservation. Was there something we can help you with? Oh, Aeolin, don't engage with her. It's not what I want, mate. It's what you want. Namely, finding the sister of that fellow you're trying to hide. <laughs> oh, relax. No one else has seen you. Can you help us find his sister? I can. I know exactly where she and all the others have disappeared off to. And I can show you where they are. Yes, well, as trustworthy as you seem, I think we shall have to say thank you, but no thank you. Hold on a moment. Oh, you can't be serious. Litha, we have no leads. If you have a better idea, I'm happy to hear it. All right, then. So where are they? In a place of untold danger, deep beneath the mountain. Oh, why is that not surprising? I can show you the way, but we must go quickly. Wait a minute now. I'm happy for the lead, but I'm with Lathar. How do we know we can trust you? You don't. But like your friend said, you don't have any better options. But why would you help us? And if you know where these people are, why haven't you told anyone? No one here could do anything. Too closely bound one way or the other. You lot, though, apart from the Ashlander, you're all relatively free. I'm just playing the game. Excuse me, what do you mean? Look, time is a factor. So if you're done asking questions, we should go. Going into a deep, dark cave on the advice of a mad homeless woman. You know, even by our standards, this is harebrained. I am slightly worried uh, that she refused to come with us. She's clearly not a fighter. If she's telling the truth, then she's already provided us with plenty of help. Yes, if she's telling the truth. Well, I think we can handle whatever might be in here if she was lying. I wish I had your confidence. I think she was telling the truth. What makes you say that? I don't know, just she seemed to be honest. Tell you who she reminded me of, though. That Tess. Believe! 
Are you alright? Well, don't go running off until we get down there. Thanks. Did you hear me? Great. Come on. If we're quick, we can catch up. <sighs> can you see him? Not yet. Well, keep your eyes open. We don't want to lose each other as well. Uh, at least the game's a decent size. How far do you think it goes? Further than I would like. And looking for two goblins in this gloom is going to be... Absolutely damned impossible. This is the same cave? I can't even make out the other side. This is impossible. We didn't go that deep underground. A cave this size, there'd have to be evidence above ground. We'd have seen it. So you say, but I can see evidence to the contrary. How are we going to find Bates in here? I cannot see any sign of him. For now, we have to stick together. It'll be easy to get lost in here, and... Where's Aeolin? I did not see him. He was just here. Did you see... Yela? Yela! She's gone. Lethal! Oh, no! Hello? Fiona! Barlink? Hello? Hello. Where is everyone? Where's me sister? Sister? She's here, in the choir. Huh? You can find her if you like. Would you like to? Of course I do! Just this way then. Linda! Thanks! Hello, Yayla. Who are you? What are you doing? Doing? I'm doing nothing. Would you like to be with your friends? What? Yes? Keep going, then. It's just a short way. Ashlander. Verif. Yela. Latha Monron. This is a real pleasure. Who said that? That doesn't matter, son of Ithilin. But I'm happy to find you here. Where are the others? What have you done with them? I've done nothing, Lord of Marilyn. They're here, with you. Why can't I find them? You need only follow the choir. Follow me, Guano. What did you... This way. I don't know what's causing this, but when I find you... Fascinating, isn't it? What? You can't tell me you're not interested in the root of this phenomenon, Skullfumper. No, no. You're not him. He's dead. You're not my master. I'm sorry, Aeolin. I didn't mean to upset you. No, come on. All your little friends are here. You just need to follow the quiet, dear. So what are you? A haunting? No, no, if you were... Then I'll be seeing something, and I'll be angry. I don't want you angry, dear. I just want to keep you safe. Yela? Letha? Eolind? Why do these things keep happening to me? But Link! You can go. What? There is nothing for you here. You may leave. I shall be happy to, once I have found my friends. Your friends have a place here. You, though, you do not carry the quiet. There is too much within you, and you're already tied elsewhere. What do you mean? Where am I tied? You are not of here. Go. Of course I do. You haven't been around, Benny. 
thing. You don't know what it's like having everyone around all the time. And all of them are more important than me. You can't think that. Yes, I can. Everyone is more important than me. Corsair is always working with Dad or practicing fighting. Mama says he's gonna be the first honest proper town's guard when he grows up. Fiona! Oh, Dune and M do is mess around. But everybody thinks they are really funny. Fiona! And Ira is the littlest. She's cute and sweet and everyone wants to take care of her. But no one wants to take care of me. That's not true, Fee. Everyone came looking for you. How long did it take you to notice I was gone? I don't know. I was hiding. I don't even remember how long I've been away. But it feels like ages. Come home, V. No. I'm staying here. It's nice. It's special. See, I came to get you. Come with me. Just... Just leave me alone, Belling. You... You can go off with your friends. I'm sure they are missing you. I'm getting tired of this. Not surprising. You've been tired for a long time. What? Having to stay here in the mortal realm. So drab without the vigour of the Fae, and all for a so-called friend who doesn't appreciate what you do. That's not fair. That's a lie, and you know it's a lie. But you're so determined to believe it. It has been hard. It has. You deserve a rest. Well, maybe I can. Just for a little while. Of course. Take all the time you need. I'm not listening to you. Why? I'm just trying to keep you safe. Enough. You're not my mother. And you're not my master either. I never claimed to be. I just wish you to be comfortable and thought you'd appreciate something familiar. Well, thanks. I don't know what you are, but I don't want you in my head. Aeolin! Aeolin, is that you? Yeah, yeah. Aeolin. You blame yourself. Oh, be quiet. No, no, I understand. You're quite right. It was your fault. What? All of it. The war, the aftermath, all of it. Because you did not act fast enough. Because of what you did. I... They don't know, do they? Your friends. Even Yela doesn't know the whole story. I wonder how they would react if they found out. Here too, Lynx. Huh? Yeah, you can stay. You can't go home anyway. You can stay with me. But just a second ago, you were telling me to go away. Well, now I want you to stay. What is there for you out there, really? Suspicion, monsters, a constant struggle to get by. It has been hard. Really hard. There are days, aren't there? Where you wish you didn't have to wake. That you can just stay in the dark. Be comfortable. I suppose I could stay for a bit.
You know, in a way. It's a shame you're just a disembodied voice. Why is that? If you were corporeal, I'd have smacked you by now. Pretending to be Yala. What do you think would happen? Well, nothing to say. You do not make sense. I get that a lot. I see your mind. All you have been through, everything and everyone you have ever loved, taken from you. And yet, you continue on. You know the pain, yet you do not feel it. Clearly, you have much to learn about the strength of orcs. Maybe so. Now get lost! Can anyone hear me? What the... I do not understand. I came from this path. There should be a way through. You were told to leave. You are tapping me. I am showing you. Showing me what? The way out. I need to find my friends fast. They will be staying here. I think not. We shall all be leaving. They shall never see the sun again. They belong to the quiet oblivion now. Wait, wait what? I... I know that. How, how do I know what that is? Because you are bonded elsewhere. And that's why you cannot be here. You sound nervous. I think you cannot affect me and that worries you. Well, if you have nothing to add, they are key to the force in a mere mouth. Destruct you! <laughs> I swear, if this is another one of your tricks... <coughs> no trick, my friend. You see, it is me. Well, like it's good to see you. I feel like I've been wandering around down here for hours. We may have been. I think whatever force is down here is affecting our minds. Well, it certainly seems to have shut up since you come along. This does not affect me. It says that I am bonded elsewhere. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, oh, I... I do not know. Uh, but, but for now, I have decided not to question it. Probably wise. Any clues where the others might be? I'm afraid I do not know. No! Uh, I am fine. I merely tripped over some... Yela? Leave me alone. I'm done. What are you talking about? I can't go on anymore. I'm tired. I'm so tired every day. Fighting just to survive. I think... I think I'd rather just stay here. Come on, Yela. You cannot remain here. We need you. I'm so tired of being needed. Binks needs me to keep him out of trouble. Letha needs me to remind him of who he really is. You need me to keep you safe in places you don't know. And I, I, I can't do it anymore. Oh, Yela. This isn't good. Whatever's in this place must have gotten to her. But... What can we do? We need to find my thumb. He might know a way to bring you around. Yes, you are right. You think you'll be able to find him? I am not sure, but I think I, I might have the best chance. <laughs> Stay with her until I return. Right. There's nothing you can do. Oh, shut up. Lethal? Lethal? Lethal! There you are! Oh, Ashlander. There you are. Thank the wonder that I found you. I need your help. No, you don't. Uh, what? You don't need my help. Nobody does. Anyone I've tried to help has ended up worse for it. Don't waste your time, Ashlander. He has given himself to the quiet now, despair. Alaric. Halifar. Oh, brother. Lethal! Stop! You know none of this is true, and you are not the sort of person to let this bring you low. You are too strong for that. Leave me be, Varith. There is nothing I can do. No, I will not. The letter that I know will not cower here in the dark when his friend needed him. What? Yela needs your help. Yela's in trouble? I think so. And after all she has done for you, Everything she has put up with. I think you owe her this. I... Yes. Yes, you're right, Ashlander. 
Lead the way. <sighs> Yela. Oh, hello, Letha. So what do you need this time? It's no better then. Doesn't look that way. No. I heard you were in trouble. No, no trouble. I'm quite content, actually. In fact, you can head off and I'll stay here. Don't be silly. We, we can't leave without you. Why? Because you need me along? Because I'm the only one who will tolerate you anymore? Because I'll stay with you while you stride around insulting people? Because of some stupid hope that my friend is still in there somewhere? Buried under all that spite? We should go find the link. Y yes. Yes. Let's go. Yela, you are the greatest friend I could have asked for. I know it can be difficult dealing with me sometimes. I suppose after we lost the war, well, I went to pieces, and I got so used to relying on you until I started taking your strength for granted. I'm... I'm so... so sorry. But this... this place, it's not good for you. I think it's feeding on our worst thoughts somehow. We need to leave, all of us, but once we're out, if you wish to go your own way, I won't object. So, what do you say? <sighs> that was close. Quest of Ruin is a podcast distributed by Scroll and Dagger and licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Sharealike 4.0 International License. Today's episode was written by Gareth Cadogan and C.L. Barry. It was produced by Gina Moriarty and directed by Gareth Cadogan. Original music was produced by Evangelos and Narcissatos. To see the full cast list, view show notes and ways to support us, visit scrollandagger.com and rate us wherever you find your podcasts. Thank you for listening.